So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 8th ReactJS tutorial in which I'm gonna discuss about what states are in React and actually how they are different from props. So in the last few tutorials we have discussed only props but what states essentially do is they are kind of mutable. So props you kind of modify them their value from the child component because react in its core freezes this props object so you cannot actually modify it or any of its value inside the child component right but the state on the other hand sort of as the name suggests defines the state of that particular component so in general what the practice is is that from the parent component you pass in the state as a prop right you do not actually just you know just communicate with parent with state and back and forth because that's kind of expensive to do but we'll just take a look at that later on for now let's just see what this state is so for a state to define a state what you have to do first is just go ahead and write a constructor c-o-n-s-t-r-u-c-t-o-r and just call the super method so that you can just kind of um, initiate the react component super first constructor first and this constructor would get your props right which is same thing like this so you can just store it in some variable or something if that sort of seems comfortable to you but it would anyways be accessible with this dot props as well so what we can do here is first of all let's just console log props so that we can see what we are getting and then we can say that this dot state and then this would be an object and this would be actually your state object which would kind of define the state of your component right so you can have things here which would update which might update on a UI update like if your component interacts with user with the input type or you know any button sort of thing so you can have those values like you can have an counter here as zero and then you can have a button which updates this counter so that's sort of the thing <clears throat> and you can display this again with the help of this dot state dot counter like that <clears throat> and uh, this would work just fine so what's actually the difference well the difference is that first of all you cannot update props but you can update state and secondly <clears throat> when you update a state react would automatically re-render this component so as to update it on the page if any of its state values changed which is being used by the component and to do that what we can do is that we can just create a set interval here or we can just do it ES6 way so this would be something like uh, this dot state and actually it's this dot set state so what this would do this method would update your state and uh, you just have to pass in the values which you want to update so you can do counter is <coughs> counter or actually this dot state dot counter plus one right and you can do like it every half a second or something so this would re-render this component every half a second because we are changing the state and we do not need to do anything all of this stuff happens behind the scenes so if we take a look here uh, we get error well let's just see obviously we have a typo here c o n s t r u r u r u c t o r 
right there okay so now you can see that our favorite number is changing every half a second and this is how pretty much you can do that and one more thing I want to show you is that you can actually take a look at what things are updating on the browser with the help of developer tools so let's just change it take it a bit slower like every 1.5 second and to do that what we can do is actually uh, press escape and you will see these two windows or probably just one then you can just click here and click on rendering and check this paint flashing so now you can see that actually nothing else like the stand or anything like that updates on the page every 1.5 seconds just the things which are required to update that number that particular number that is only updated so this is how react sort of works and you know that's why it's efficient because it just updates the dom or actually just updates the part of that dom which needs to be updated so that is all pretty much how states work and uh, yeah that's all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one